Rukaria Sultana Begum was an empress of the Mughal Empire. She was the first wife of Emperor Akbar. She was also the longest serving Mughal empress having a tenure of over 49 years. She was born a Mughal princess and was the only daughter of Mughal prince Indomta, who was Akbar's youngest paternal uncle. She was also the granddaughter of Emperor Baba, the founder of the Mughal Empire and the first Mughal emperor, as well as the niece of the second, Humayun. She played a crucial role in negotiating a settlement between her husband and her stepson, Jahangir, when the father-son relationship turned sour in the early 1600s, eventually helping Jahangir's accession to the throne. Family Shakzadi Rukaria Sultan Begum was born into the Timurid dynasty as a Mughal princess, and was the only daughter of Mughal prince Indomta, the youngest and favorite son of the first Mughal emperor Baba from his wife Dildal Begum. Rukaria's mother, Sultan Ambikum, was the daughter of Muhammad Musa Khwaja and the younger sister of Mahdi Khwaja, who was the brother-in-law of Emperor Baba, being the husband of his sister, Kanzada Begum. Rukaria's oldest paternal uncle was the Emperor Humayun, who later became her father-in-law as well, while her most notable paternal aunt was Gulbadan Begum, the author of Humayun Nama. Being the granddaughter of Emperor Baba and a Timurid princess, Rukaria, as well as her first cousin, Akbar, were descendants of the lines of the highest Central Asian aristocracy, Timur or Tamerlan the Great through his son Moran Shah, and Genghis Khan through his son Shagatai Khan. As it was customary for a Mughal princess, Rukaria was well educated and knew many languages such as Shagatai, Persian, Arabic and Urdu. Marriage At the age of nine, Rukaria married her first cousin, Akbar, in November of 1551 at Kabul, Afghanistan, shortly after his first appointment as a viceroy in the province of Azi. The marriage was arranged by Rukaria's uncle and Akbar's father, Humayun, and took place soon after the untimely death of Rukaria's father, Hindlmta, who died in a battle. Humayun conferred on the young couple, all the wealth, army and adherents of his deceased younger brother, Hindal, and Azi, which was one of Hindal's Jagir, was given to his nephew and son-in-law, Akbar. Rukaria became an empress of the Mughal Empire at the age of 14 years following her husband's accession to the throne in 1556. Throughout her 53 years of marriage, Rukaria remained childless, but was given the primary responsibility for the upbringing of her grandson, Prince Karam. Just prior to Karama Euro unregistered trademark s birth, a soothsayer had reportedly predicted to Rukaria Sultan Begum that the still unborn child was destined for imperial greatness. So, when Karam was born in 1592 and was only six days old, Akbar ordered that the prince be taken away from his mother and handed him over to Rukaria so that he could grow up under her care and Akbar could fulfill his aging wife's wish, to raise a Mughal emperor. Karam remained with her, until he had turned thirteen. The young prince was then, finally, allowed to return to his father's household, and thus, be closer to his biological mother. Rukaria oversaw Karam's education as well for she, unlike her husband, was well educated. Rukaria and Karam, therefore, shared a close relationship much like the relationship that Akbar had shared with Karam. Karam's father and Rukaria's stepson, Jahangir, noted that Rukaria had loved Karam a thousand times more than if he had been her own son. Despite the fact that she did not bear him any children, she was always kept in high regard by her husband, as he held great respect and affection for her. Rukaria was thus, a senior and high-ranked figure in the imperial harem, along with the other two chief empresses, also under court during her husband's reign as well as in his successor's reign. She took a precedence over other wives of Akbar in terms of birth. She was his only wife who was the most supreme in terms of birth being herself a Timurid princess and thus, a member of the Timurid dynasty. The empress also took active part in court politics just like Salama Sultan Begum and Mariam Er Samani. In the early 1600s, Rukaria, Salama Sultan Begum and Maya Makani, along with other ladies of the harem, played a crucial role in negotiating a settlement between Akbar and Jahangir eventually helping to pave the way for Jahangir's accession to the throne. During Jahangir's reign, Rukaria and Salama Sultan Begum again played a crucial role in successfully securing pardon for the powerful, Khan Azam, and Sirzis Kokka, 
who had been sentenced to death by Jahangir. Apart from her own palace at Vati Pasikri, Rukaria owned palaces outside the Fort Anagra, near the Jamuna River, a privilege given to Mughal princesses only and sometimes to empresses who were kept in high esteem. In 1607, Rukaria went for a pilgrimage to the mausoleum of her father Hindal, in Kabul, while being accompanied by both Jahangir and Karam. Within the same year, Shurafgan Kuli Khan, the Jagirda of Burdwan died and his widowed wife, Muranissa was summoned to Agra by Jahangir to act as lady-in-waiting to the Empress Rukaria. Given the precarious political connections of Shurafgan before his death, his family was in great danger and therefore for her own protection, Muranissa needed to be at the court in Agra. Nurjayan and her daughter, Ladli Begum, served as ladies-in-waiting to the Empress for four years while earnestly endeavouring to please their imperial mistress. The relationship that grew up between Rukaria and Maranissa appears to have been an extremely tender one which remained so until Rukaria's death in 1626. The Dutch merchant, Peter van den Broek said, This begun, Rukaria conceived a great affection for Muranissa. She loved her more than others and always kept her in her company. Death Rukaria died in 1626, at the age of 84 having outlived her husband by 20 years. She was buried on the 15th level in the gardens of Baber in Kabul, which is also the resting place of her grandfather, Emperor Baber and her father, Hindlomsa. Her tomb was built by her step-grandson, Emperor Shah Jin. While recording her death in his autobiography, Jahangir fondly speaks of Rukaria and makes note of her exalted status as Akbar's first wife. In popular culture, Empress Rukaria is a main character in Hindu Sundari San's award-winning historical novel, The Twentieth Wife, as well as in its sequel, The Feast of Roses. Rukaria is a main character in Ekta Kapo's historical serial Jodi Akbar. The character is portrayed by Lavina Tandon. References <laughs>